So Julie and I recently went to LA to get PRP done for our hair, but it wasn't just any normal PRP. Check it out. And here we are, LA FUE Hair Clinic. So we are officially here now at LA FUE Hair Clinic as I showed you guys. We're about to get the procedure done, super excited. I'm gonna let them awesome. explain a little bit more. So for last today, we're gonna do a PRP and stem cells, a combination of two treatments. What PRP is, it's a minor medical procedure. We just draw some blood, concentrate the growth factors, inject those growth factors into the areas, helps to slow down loss, helps to make the hair more full, more thick. But we're actually also gonna combine those with stem cells. Stem cells with PRP is a fantastic combination, really helps to boost the hair, makes it a lot more healthy. And benefits of stem cells, less hair falls, extra density, preservation, and reverses the miniaturized hair. So it's only plus, plus, plus. Yes. So you gotta be patient, Lance, nine months to 12 months. Of course, as you guys seen, I've done PRP many times. It takes a couple months, I start noticing growth, and over time it just gets stronger and stronger. I love it, it's helped me every single time I've got it done. So now that we're including stem cells in that, it's just gonna be like PRP on steroids. It's gonna be insane. One of the questions that I did have when I was asking about the stem cells, which maybe some of you are thinking about as well, do the stem cells have to be specific for my body and my blood type, or can anybody have them? And the answer is... It's neutral. It's neutral. So anybody can get it. You don't need it like a certain blood type, or they don't have to find certain stem cells for your certain exactly. blood type. There's Correct. no blood particles involved. Yes. I'm gonna show you guys right now photos of some people that have gotten the stem cell therapy and how much their hair is improved. All right, let's get it started. All right, Julia's gonna go first. So there's some areas right here that are thinning a bit, so okay. she wants to target those areas. Like Corners. these little baby Absolutely. hairs. The baby hairs. Yeah. yeah. So you can compare the before and after photos, nine months from now, 12 months from now. It's actually gonna take to see the difference. What I'm gonna do now is disinfect, apply some topical numbing cream. Once I do that, the one thing I will ask of you, please don't touch your head. I don't okay. want you to reintroduce any bacteria from your hands onto your scalp after I disinfect. I also don't want you touching numbing cream, touching your eyes or anything along those lines, okay? okay. That's hard for me. I always touch my hair. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be good. Julia has never gotten PRP done, so this is all brand new for her. Numbing cream, here we go. So I need this on the scalp for at least 40 minutes, okay? VIP service, Julia. Really, oh, Ooh, what is that? Thank you. Mimosas. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Orange juice, sir. Lift up the orange juice. Yeah. yeah? That's what a mimosa is, yeah. Oh, I thought he was joking. <laughs> She's gotta Probably be not. joking. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out in 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Give this a few squeezes for me, please. It's about to get our blood Should drawn. I hold it down or no? No, just give it a couple of extra squeezes. Oh, you gotta get that pump, girl. We're used to this. Hit the gym <laughs> toys today. Use a day. Use a small needle for Julia. Just to make sure you got the big one for Lance, okay? Well, it should be okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> How many vials of the PRP do you think you're gonna end up using? Like three? Generally we get four milliliters of PRP, we add another milliliter or so of stem cells, so we get about five to six syringes. Oh wow, I usually do like two or three. I'm gonna start preparing your PRP. All right, here we go. That's, oh! Careful! <laughs> Almost fell. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> <laughs> you can have afro in about a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have a preference on the arm, right or left? Probably my right. Got more veins popping out on this one. All those it's funny gains. I hate the, all those gains. <laughs> it's funny because every time I go to get my blood drawn, I'm usually a little heavier, so they always have like trouble finding my veins, or I just like I'm not hydrated enough that day. How much did you lose? Over thirty pounds. I'm probably like 33, 34 30 pounds now. Like three and a half months. That's crazy. Yeah. You know, rapid weight loss also can contribute to hair loss. Oh really? I've been chilling now. I feel like my hair is pretty thick right now. But of course, we always huge difference. Want to make it thicker? Of course. Oh, 100 percent. Since like three years ago. Yeah. Guys, so funny story. They actually do FUE surgery, hence the name, which is hair transplant. You can obviously take hair from the back of your head, basically move it up to the front of your head. One at a time. That's what I was gonna originally intend on doing, but I felt like my hair has gotten thicker over the past couple of years because obviously I know to take care of it a lot more now and. Instead of going that route, we're doing the PRP with the stem cells. So I've had this date planned for a while now. I kept pushing it back because... Your sister got married. My sister got married and then Julie and I were planning a wedding and then COVID happened. So a lot of a lot of stuff was going on. You know, I'm glad that I didn't end up doing that just yet. I could always do that. It's kind Absolutely. of a, like a last resort. And I always tell clients, lenses, leave surgery to last resort. Yes. Try everything that's out there first from medications to topicals to stem cells and PRP. If it doesn't work, surgery can always be there. Yes. Exactly. Your hair is like long in the well, you get nervous or dizzy when you see things like blood. No, I'm pretty good. Three. <sighs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I've gotten it so many times, I'm so used to it by now. It's super slow for you. Guess I lost weight and blood. What? <laughs> What does that mean if it's slow? You might not have had enough water. Or... Definitely didn't today. I know that. Oh, okay. So this is the stem cells. It comes in this little vial. Comes in the in packaging over dry ice. And, and this will be Julia's. And look at that. There's 
one cc highly concentrated stem cells right there. That's just a, that? that's like a clear liquid. If you want, we could point it more towards the light. You see that? And there we're we going to go. mix that with her PRP. There it is. A better view for you guys. All right, Julia wanted to go first, so you check in your heart rate. <laughs> yeah, because I have bad anxiety. <laughs> you can be okay. What's it at? 76. Oh, that's not bad. I thought it was going to be like 110. Julia has like super low heart rate when she's like resting, and then when she's exercising, it's super high heart rate. I'm like sorry. she'll be at like a 50 resting, and then she'll be at like 150 when she's just hiking, which is absurd to me. My resting is like a 70. When I'm hiking, I'm like 120. Yeah, it's 90 right now. Yeah, it's going on. You're thinking more about it. Yeah. Here you go. Little squeezy balls for you. Then I'm going to micro needle. If it's too much, let me know. I could go less, okay? Okay. How does that? Does that hurt too much? That's fine. Pain scale, 10 being the worst? Mm, like a four. What is micro needling? Micro needling causes micro trauma to the scalp. And when we inject a growth factor, the repair process begins. So we kind of want to scratch the surface. Looking for the skin to turn nice and pink. Is that her plasma? That's Mixed it. with the stem cells? This is high quality PRP here. Dark red, five to seven times the amount of growth factors compared to the yellow stuff. It's only two times the amount of growth factors. Oh, wow. Because I'm always used to getting the yellow, yeah. the gold look. Oh, wow. This has the actual cells in them themselves okay which cool. has a much higher concentration that's why it's red so your platelets are red plus the stem cells you see Lance, this is what we want that yeah there's like point. a tiny bit of blood it's yeah, like that's what pinches. we want <laughs> not to tell me that <laughs> oh sorry there's a ton of blood <laughs> it just feels like someone's scratching your head really hard with like sharp nails here we go that's a little vibration a little tool vibration tool helps take some of the pain away distract it here we go one two one three A little sensitive, it's across the hairline. Julia has seen me get this before. Now you know how it feels. You're all done, babe. Good job. Not as bad as you thought, right? No, it wasn't as bad. Look at all the blood. You'd probably freak out if you saw it. <laughs> I don't want to look, yeah. <laughs> all right, Lance, we're going to wipe off the numbing cream, okay? So I know you got muscles, but in case if it's <laughs> a little sensitive. All right. Pain scale, Lance? Like a seven. Seven. Really? Wow. Don't women have better pain tolerance? Yeah, women have so much high better tolerance than men do. It looks like you're rolling it on so like lightly, yeah, but, but it, it feels, feel like that, yeah, yeah, it feels way harder. You want to go from the least sensitive to the most sensitive. Do whatever you want. There you go. One, two, and three. You did it, Lance. Good job. What do you mean I'm done? One syringe. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought I was done the whole thing. I'm like, there's no way. Yeah, no. You look very miserable. You just like... We have to check his heart rate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 71. That's not bad. Lance, you survived. Yes, I we are good. I almost called you Rance. <laughs> <laughs> Rance. Rance, you are done. All set. Awesome. You did fantastic. Be honest, how painful was it? I'd say, like, overall, like a 7 out of 10. 7? Yeah. Okay. Julia, obviously, you got a better heart. Yeah. Higher pain tolerance than me. <laughs> Julia, Plus. what was yours again? Was it a four? It was, yeah, like a four to five. Oh, she did awesome. Woo! And there we go. We are now officially done. Huge shout out to LA FUE Hair Clinic. These guys are awesome. Thank you so much for letting my fiance, Julia, and I come in. Super grateful. If any of you need PRP done for yourselves, or maybe you want a hair transplant, these are the guys to go to. They have done amazing work for many people that I am friends with, and all their hair looks great. So come check them out in Pasadena, California. I leave their Instagram tagged in the description down below. You guys can go follow them. Let them know that I sent you. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. You got it. Thank you.